The sponsali was the formal engagement between the bride and the groom. The groom would ask the father if he promised his daughter over to him. After this took place, the groom would give a ring to the daughter and place the ring on her third finger. This is similar to customs in our culture nowadays. Spandete? Spande. The night before the wedding, the bride and her family gathers at the Lorarium to put away her childhood clothes and her, give back her bola. And in return, she receives the mundas muliebras, which are perfumes and jewelry and clothes. the bride's wedding day uh, she puts on like an ela elaborate ceremony um, she her hair is arranged in a sexagenes which is six braids and it's arranged by a spear by her uh, like friends that all come to her house and then she's wearing a clameon which is an orange veil and a white tunic and yellow shoes and in the back of her belt she has a Hercules knot uh, which is special for the groom because he gets to undo it for the first time during the night after the wedding. At the ceremony, which takes place at the bride's house, her attendants join the right hands of the groom and the bride. Uh, after this, the sacrifice will take place, which is carried out by the priest. He will check the omens and give a okay to the uh, wedding. After this, he will take the cake to, to the groom and bride and they will eat from the cake. Then he will, the signing of the tablets will take place so that they are witnesses to this marriage. After this, they will have a huge feast and a slave might appear. Hey, Nero, Adis! Nero! Hike where go, and manum who is weary. Dupta est. Felicite! Felicite! No! After the party winds down, a strange ritual begins where a slave 
uh, pretends to steal the bride, which reenacts the rape of the Sabine women. And after that, uh, they start the procession to the groom's house. Uh, guests of the groom and bride carry torches, uh, flowers, and throw nuts to children while singing songs like human, human eye, human eye, human. They wind through the city, uh, making jokes about the groom and bride, making their way to the groom's house where they'll have to cross the threshold. This is after the procession has gone through the city and has arrived at the groom's house. Um, the groom tells her, the bride to stop, and um, the bride will always answer, Ubi tu Gaius, Ego Gaia. Gaia. Um, after this, um, she oils the doorstep so the spirits will slip past the house. Um, the groom will then hand her a key and, and then carry her into the house um, to avoid her tripping or falling over the, uh, the doorway. Um, then uh, the groom paints her um, fire and water to symbolize cooking and cleaning. This day, quiz S2. Ubi tu Gaius, uh, Ego Gaia. Oh, my turn. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my God.